Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. I started to come up with some sort of story for April Fool's Day, but as bad as I lie, y'all would have figured it out within the first three seconds because I'd have been laughing or smiling. My brother, Lonnie, he can't lie either. He does it all the time though, to be funny. He makes up stories, but I have learned over the years how to tell when he's lying. His mouth turns down. <coughs> he's trying to tell you a story, but his mouth is turned down like that. I'm like, you're lying. He's like, I'm not lying. I'm like, then uh, straighten your face up. He's like, I'm not lying. <laughs> Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He'll probably call me today with some sort of April Fool's something. I don't think he will let the day go by without trying to get me with something. My mother used to pull April Fool's Day jokes on me, calling me, telling me crazy stuff. And I would fall for it because it wouldn't dawn on me that it was April Fool's Day at first, you know? This is a small Japanese maple. It's still kind of big. That's what she said. But it's not like mine. And it's been here a long time. I like the size of this one. My dad's got one like this in his backyard. Hi, could you come with me, please? And not just stand and stare. She's just like me. I used to do that as a child. I'd just stand and stare. And my mom would be like, Tracy, stop staring and come on. And I would... I was like, I don't know what I was looking at, but I read one time that stopping and staring like that is a form of seizure. <laughs> so maybe I was having a seizure. She just thought I was being rude and staring and I could have been having a medical emergency. That's not funny. Don't joke about that, Tracy. Well, I mean, it's true though, because that is a form of seizures. Of course, we didn't know none of that back then. I should have, because I used to read that medical book she had like it was the Bible. I used to look at all the pictures in that book. And like this full-grown person standing there, you could see every inch of them, except they would put these tiny little black circles over their eyeballs. Like that kept you from knowing who they were if you knew them. You know what I'm saying? I need to find that book. Because I did. I used to read it all the time. Why? I don't know. Maybe I was a hy hypochondriac. Oh, stand in the ant hills. That's cool. <laughs> they far ants. I, I don't know what's going on with the hump on the side of my head, but just ignore it, okay? Because I don't know what to do with it. I am off today, so I guess I'll work in the yard some more and maybe plant a few more of my plants that I bought. Yeah, I did record Penny when I first put her harness on that I will include because she just gets plain. Any word I use is not gonna be a good word, but she just gets stupid when I put that vest on her or any harness really. But I guess because the vest is new, she gets to walking all sideways and looking back like what's on me. Yeah, she does it with anything, though. I don't know. I'm like, you should be used to this by now. You should be used to getting a harness or some sort of device put on before we go for a walk after five years. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be back. All right, let's go. Come on, walk. <laughs> she can't walk with this thing on. Well, she does that with the harness too, but this is worse. She cannot walk the first few seconds, but then once we get outside, she's fine. <laughs> you ready? Okay, watch where you're going, Tracy. Yeah, see, she's fine. But when I first put it on her, she just can't walk straight. Goodness gracious. You know, the video I posted yesterday about drinking Hunch Punch, and Michelle commented about when she got drunk one time and 
actually fell out of her wheelchair, which I think takes great talent to fall out of your wheelchair. She said it was more like a somersault, but luckily she didn't hurt herself <laughs> any further by rolling out of her wheelchair. But it reminded me of a story. When I worked at the jail, we all went to this, I, I don't know, some sort of club down at Dobbins Air Force Base. And we were all dressed up. It was like our Christmas party or something. And I remember Joel picked us up, picked up me and I think Sherry. And yeah, uh, when we got home, I don't know how it happened. He had a small car. I want to say like one of those Datsun 280Z or something. I, it probably was a daggum Toyota Corolla for all I remember. But I just remember it being small and the doors were low to the ground. And I opened the door when he got me home and and my purse fell out of the car and somehow rolled under the car. So in my drunken stupor, instead of just getting out of the car, now Joel parked in my driveway and walked around to assist me, but I didn't wait on him. And instead of stepping out of the car, like a normal person, I rolled out of the car and was face down on the driveway in this beautiful dress that I had bought trying to get my purse out from under his car. So he gets, imagine his surprise when he walks around to the other side of the car and finds me laying face down with half my body up under his car. He was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to get my purse. But the bad part was the dress was, y'all remember the pencil skirts? Well, this may have been something similar called a pencil dress if that's a thing it was very very straight and had a little slit up the back there wasn't much i felt like was it letitia Leti morticia morticia adams in that long dress where she you know had to hold on or she had to walk like this because it was so tight. Now, mine was just below the knee, so it wasn't that bad, but I had no business being on the ground on my belly with half of me under a car because I could barely move to get myself back under, back out from under the car to get myself up. <sighs> Again, why I don't drink anymore. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, that was quite the... Quite the evening. I lost my shoes at that party. I was walking around trying to find my shoes. How do you lose your shoes? I don't know. Well, we got out on the dance floor and I couldn't have danced in those shoes because there again, I've got tiny feet. And this would have probably been in the 80s, the late 80s. So it was very hard to find. We didn't have online shopping, you know? So I probably bought the only pair of heels I could find and stuffed the toe, which I can just tell you is not the same as having a pair of shoes that fit, especially a heel because my toes, it, anyway, I just removed my shoes, okay? That was quite the evening. Mm. But I wish I could have seen Joel's expression when he saw me face down on the driveway because I bet it was a doozy. Yeah, as y'all can see, I didn't do anything in that bed yesterday. Perhaps today is the day. But I just, I just realized last night we're going to have another cold spell. Penny, Penny, squirrel, squirrel, Penny, squirrel, squirrel. There's a squirrel. Do you see it? Get the squirrel, baby. Do you see the squirrel? Oh, honey, you missed it. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe today's the day that I will get in there and start working. But what was I saying a minute ago? I don't know, but I gotta move one of my plants because I was told you can't plant tomatoes near cucumbers. And I read online and it said two to three feet away, which that 
the other two tomatoes are i just need to move that one further down because i mean it's probably two feet but i'll move it down some and make it more like three feet i don't know it said for room it didn't say anything about killing the cucumber or anything it just said they need more room so i don't know i was wanting to go get more dirt to fill in that other side because it's kind of down and I may move the tomatoes over there once I get more dirt, which is probably something I should go do right now instead of working in this flower bed. <laughs> uh, well, that's the end of part one. Good afternoon. How is everyone? Well, I'm great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Did you ask? Well, I I did work in the yard today, okay? I did work a little bit in the yard, and I will show you the little bit that I did, okay? But I, why did I take my glasses off? Why'd y'all let me do that? Uh. <laughs> anyway, I was pulling weeds, happily pulling weeds, and then all of a sudden, I felt like I had something growing out of this eyeball. Now, nothing was growing out of the eyeball. It was just the amount of pollen that entered my eyeball while I was out here pulling weeds. I discovered that my rosemary plant did survive the winter. However, the fern that was next to it did not survive the winter. Let me turn this around so y'all don't have to look at this, okay? So there's my my rosemary. And I'm pretty sure rosemaries will survive anything. And this may not look like I did much, but this bag is almost full of weeds that I pulled. And most of it came from here, not here. I did move that tomato down a little bit more. So I have a good couple of feet between everything. And like I said, I want to get dirt to fill in that end, and I may eventually move them down there, but I just wanted to get them in the dirt. And now, as I started earlier talking about the weather, I realized I didn't finish because I got all distracted telling Penny to chase the squirrel. But anyway, um, it's supposed to be 37 at the... I think it's the weekend, by the weekend. We're gonna have lows back in the 30s. So I may not plant the rest of my plants until after this cold spell. I was always told to wait until after April 15th. <laughs> but um, I jumped the gun. Imagine that. Please stand by. It's like, Mom, why did you go outside and leave me in here all alone? Come on, Toodles. She's got to be where Mama is. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I was out here working, and I was filling up with pollen, and I thought, you know what? I can't do this anymore. So I went inside and I did a little bit of cleaning inside and I went to the grocery store and then I came back home and what did I do? Oh, I watched that movie on Netflix called Queen Bees. It's pretty cute. It's about these ladies who live in a retirement home. I guess that's what you'd call it, a retirement home. But it's a fun retirement home. That's the kind of retirement home I want to live in where we can have fun and play cards, not in a retirement home where people are like sitting in the corner in their last days. I know that's a nursing home, but you know what I'm saying? I just want it to be fun. I guess there are different levels because my grandmother started out in a assisted living, which I guess probably was more fun, but she didn't stay long because she kept running away. She went out and stopped the bus in the middle of the road and the bus driver thankfully walked her back to the assisted living and turned her back in because she said, please take me to my home and told him the address. 
What was I gonna tell y'all? Dang, slab it. Oh, about the pollen. I just got a notice on my phone that the pollen today is 6,033. Now, what that means is there's 6,033 particles per cubic meter. Now, I don't really know how big a cubic meter is, but that seems like a lot for whatever amount that is. So, uh, yeah, they said it's the highest that it's been in four years. Great. So that's why I quit working in the yard because it's disgusting out there. It's like snow, but it's yellow snow. Don't eat the yellow snow where the huskies go. <laughs> that's a song by, uh, I forgot his name. Oh, hold on. I can't believe I forgot the guy's name because that was my dog's name. I had a husky. Don't eat the yellow snow where the huskies go. And my husky's name was Zappa, named after Frank Zappa because of that song. My friend Frank, not Zappa, named him pretty much because I, I couldn't come up with a name. He was my brother's dog. He had bought the dog for his soon-to-be ex-wife. I guess as a latch dis ditch effort to save the marriage, but you especially cannot bring in a husky when you're trying to save a marriage because huskies are a whole entity amongst themselves, you know? Listen to me, that's pollen. It's all pollen. It's getting all up in me. You know what? I'm, that was terrible, Tracy. Anyway, um, for as much work as I got done today, I should have actually worked today because... <laughs> I could have gotten a lot of work done at my job instead of sitting around and watching a movie. But you know what? Sometimes you need to sit home and watch a movie. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Oh, I got to tell you what the girl said at Publix. So I told the girl at Publix, which we have discussed before, the self-checkouts. I'm not 100% against a self-checkout. Let me just say that. If I have one item and all the lines are just 10 deep, because my public still has four or five registers open, and then they have all these self-checkouts. Well, if I've got one item and all those are busy, I'll go use the self-checkout. I, I mean, it doesn't bother me, but I typically I want to go to a person because, not because... I don't like self-checkouts, but because they need jobs, right? You're going to take their jobs away from them with all the self-checkouts. So anyway, we had discussed all this before, and I told her, I said, well, I heard some store, and I can't remember which one it is, but I think it's Dollar General. I told y'all about it. I said, they're taking all their self-checkouts out, and replacing them with cashiers again because of shoplifting. And she was like, oh, imagine that. And I said, I know, right? And she said, well, I just hate it for the people, you know, the employees. She said, I'm a full-time employee, so it doesn't really affect me that much. She said, but there's a part-time employee here. She's in school and she's only gonna work nine hours this week because of these self-checkouts they don't need her that much. And I was like, see, I don't like that at all because people need jobs. People need to work for a living. So yeah, that's the reason I don't like self-checkouts. But anyway, <laughs> Pollen Head will be back, okay? Okay. Well, I guess that's gonna be the end of part two. It wasn't a very exciting video, but it was a video none the more or none the less or none the whatever. <laughs> we went and walked and filled our heads with even more pollen. It was wonderful. <coughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, everything's in bloom. And I just hope that the cold weather this weekend does not damage our blooming uh, trees and plants because that happened last year and it messed us all up. So. Hopefully it won't frost. 
I think if it stays at 37, we'll be fine. I just hope it don't frost. You know what I mean? Mm. Do you see it? Who is that? <laughs> Do you see that dog? Get that dog. Look, everybody needs love, okay? Okay? And you need to allow her to get her loving on, okay? I'm afraid to put my tea down because I'm afraid that something's going to happen. See? Look at the anger in those eyes. The absolute anger. Don't look at me like that. Are you going to survive this very tempting? But look, you're going to get slapped and you're going to... You're going to get me in trouble, okay? Because, okay, she's gone. She's gone. She's gone, okay? Are you happy? Oh, my earring fell out of my ear. What is it with my earrings these days? Huh. Can you show them how sweet you can be? Huh? No, 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 no. Look, be sweet. Show them how sweet you can be, okay? Just because I'm holding you by the neck. She's fine, she can breathe, okay? Are you sweet? Are you my sweet girl? Mm -hmm. Oh, my sweet baby. She's my sweet baby. It's just a little love bite, right? Is it just a little love bite? Are you hungry? Do you want a treat? Yeah, do you want a treat? Mommy loves you. Don't bite me. Yeah, don't bite me. She doesn't bite hard, okay? But anyway, that's going to be the end of this one. I hope you've had a great day. And I will see you on the next Tracy Tries, which will be tomorrow, good Lord willing. Because I do try to post every day. Right? Right. I need to stop saying that. Because now I've gone from, you know to write, write. If I keep limiting all my words, I'm not going to have any words left. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> Uh-oh, Penelope hears something. What do you hear, Penelope? Little pollen face. Toodles, my noodles, and stay silly, my friends. Goodbye.